Number 42. Visit this PHET density simulation, which is this website, and select custom blocks and then my block. And then we have questions A through D. So I'm just going to put A, B, C, and D. Okay. So when you click this website, it will take you to this page that you see on the right hand side, it's a simulation. So now I'm going to select custom blocks, which is in the upper right hand corner. It's literally, I think it's going to be clicked for you. It says custom, but then you're going to have to click my block, which is now in the upper left hand corner. And it's right next to the word material. So if I click my block, it will change the color of the block. Whew, now it's this cool little white block, I guess. Okay. So, for letter A, it says, enter mass and volume values for the block such that the mass in kilograms is less than the volume in liters. What does the block do? Why? Is this always the case when mass is less than volume? Okay, so the first thing is, is we have to just make a uh, comparison, and we just have to plug in numbers in which mass is less than volume. Okay. Now, I just want to put over here that we're dealing with water here. This blue substance that you see in the simulation is water. So just know that for water, the density of water is one kilogram per liter. We're going to be dealing with kilograms per liter here. Just know that the standard you're going to see generally is one gram per milliliter which is the same thing as centimeters cubed. But we're dealing with liters and kilograms, so water's density is one kilogram per liter. That's going to be important for when we're comparing. And I'm just going to put density here. Okay. So I'm just going to manipulate this to see what's going to happen when the mass is less than the volume. So in this case, they already gave me two kilograms and a volume of five. So the mass is less than its volume. So now I'm just going to manipulate, and you'll see this, this bar slide. You see how I'm going to slide this bar? So I'm just going to give some numbers here, and you're going to see that, let's see, okay, over here, what's, going to, what's happening to the block? It says, what does the block do? So as I'm getting closer and closer and closer to the volume, what's happening? It looks like it's going to start to sink, right? It's getting lower and lower. Oh, so close, so close. And then once it reaches the volume, the same volume, it's basically going to start sinking. Oop, there it goes, it drops. But for anyone, if I, you know, jacked up the volume here, let's see, let's, let's go. Okay, there we go. But now, as you can see, it's still floating. So you guys can try this at home. But what does the block do? The block is going to float. So anytime that the mass is less than the volume, the block will float. Why? Now this is kind of like a mathematical type of question. So go back to D equals M over V. That's the formula for density. You guys should know the formula for density. Now, if your mass is less than the volume, that means that you'll have a smaller number in the numerator and a larger number on the bottom. If this is true, if mass is less than volume. So if you have a smaller number on the top on the numerator and you're dividing by a larger number, your density will always be less than one. It will be a decimal. And you can try this out. If I pick two divided by four, it's a decimal. It's a fraction. It's less than one. Three and six, same thing. Four divided by five, it's the same exact thing. So your density would be less than one. And I'm just going to put the units here of kilogram per liter because that's what we're dealing with here. So that's the question to why does it float? Because the density is less than one. And remember when we said the density of water was one kilogram per liter. 
and anything that is less than the density of the substance is going to float. So I'm just going to put that here. Okay, so density is less than one kilogram per liter, which will float. Now, it says, is this always the case when mass is less than volume? Technically, this is a toss-up. It all depends on the substance that you're putting your block in. So technically, it's not all the time. Substance. It really depends on what the density of the substance that you're putting it in into. If the density of the substance is, let's just say, 0.5, well, then you can still have a, you know, a fraction, 0.5, and it will sink. So it's not all the time. It's not always the case when mass is less than volume. It just depends on what the substance is that you're putting it into. Okay, B. Enter mass and volume values for the block such that the mass in kilograms is more than the volume in liters. And let's see what happens, right? What does the block do? Why is this always the case when mass is greater than volume? So now we're doing mass is greater than volume. So the other one was float. Let's see what's going to happen here. So now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to bring the volume down. There we go. And let's see. So now do you see that now all of my numbers, the mass is larger than my given volume? And at any point in time, it looks like it's not even moving right? But only when you cross the line will what start to happen? It's going to start, whoop, there it goes, rising to the top. So any time that your mass is greater than your volume, it will sink. So mass is greater than the volume, sink. Why? Go back to the formula. D equals M divided by V. Now, your mass is the larger number. I'll just put it L-E-G-E-R, and the volume is now the smaller number. So anytime this is happening, just plug in some numbers. 2 divided by 1 is 2. It's greater than 1 because this is based off of water. It will sink. 4 and 1, 3 and 1, any number. It just has to be the larger number on the top, and the smaller one has to be in the denominator. So in this case, whenever you divide a larger number with a smaller number and the larger one's on the top, the density will always be greater than one kilogram per liter. And that's why for this case, it will sink because this was based off of water. So the density is greater than one. Water is one for density. Anything above one will sink. But now, is this always the case? Well, not really, because maybe you're not dealing with water. Maybe you're dealing with another liquid, like an alcohol, or if you guys get into organic chemistry, which is the best, by the way, <laughs> um, you're going to be dealing with a lot of alcohols as your substances that you dissolve things in. So alcohol is a different density than water. So will this always be the case? Mm, not really. It depends on substance, the liquid that is being used. Now, I noticed that I put this for C, so I'm just going to lasso this. Look how cool this is. Whoop. We're just going to put it over here. So that's part of B as well. So... Mass is less than volume, float. Mass is greater than volume, sink. Okay. Now, C. How would A and B be different if the liquid in the tank were ethanol instead of water? Okay. 
So the first thing we have to know is what is the density of ethanol? The density of ethanol is 0.79 kilograms per liter. So that's a little bit different. It's not going to be one kilogram per liter. So how would A and B be different if the liquid in the tank were ethanol? Well, the, the breaking point is that 0.79. So I'm just going to put that again here, 0.79 kilogram per liter. So just know that any number above, so density is greater than 0 0.79 kilogram per liter, what do you think is going to happen? If the density is above 0 0.79, it will sink. But if any density is below 0 0.79, what do you think is going to happen? It will float. And that's what I was talking about with it depends on the substance. Now your breaking point is 0 0.79. It's not one for water. It's 0 0.79. So in this case, you could have a decimal and still either sink or float. It just depends. If you're less than 0 0.79, you'll sink. And if you're above 0 0.79, you're float because that's the density of ethanol. Now for D, last question, it says, how would A and B be different if the liquid in the tank were mercury instead of water? So now the density of mercury is 13.6 kilograms per liter. So that's the tipping point. Density is 13.6 kilogram per liter. So it looks like no decimals. <laughs> And not even any number up until 13.6 will even stand a chance of sinking. So anything above 13.6, I mean, this is crazy dense. So anything that has a density of above 13.6 kilogram per liter will sink. But anything below a density of 13.6 kilograms per liter will float. So do you see how with the different dense uh, substances that you use in order to find out the density of your compound or your, you know, your solid will be completely different outputs depending on if you use water or alcohol, ethanol, or mercury. So in one situation it will float, but the other situation it might sink. So Hopefully this answers all the questions, guys. I hope you guys understood it. And if you did, click that subscribe button because we'll have tons of more answers coming out your way. You don't want to miss a thing. Happy studying, guys. Have an awesome day. I'll see you all on the next question. Bye-bye.